So without further ado, the Tom Watt Trio. services for the aged, but they're also very active in, you know, continuing in life, taking courses, you know, people in their 80s learning languages, doing paintings, studying musical it instruments. It was an incredible experience, so as part of the project, I had to go there and interview people for, uh, you know, I hung out there for the better part of two weeks, and uh, interviewed various people. Some of the people were steered to me. There was a guy who used to live across the street from Charles Mingus in New York. There's another guy who used to play drums with Roland Kirk and James Blood Ulmer and lost his legs because a valet was bringing his car back and ran him over. <laughs> Weird story, but... <laughs> and, uh, you know, and a lot of the people... Uh, so, if you look at this thing, various pieces were inspired by various people that I talked to. I think everyone I actually interviewed, I tried to find something for them in the pieces. Sometimes it was as small as a quote. Trio. Alex, um, was the music a lot of fun to play? Yes, very much so. What now, what made it fun? Was it complicated or, or, or what? Well, it's not just the complications. Um, more so, the music flows really well, so a lot of things that seem difficult from the from playing perspective don't sound that way from the audience perspective. So I like that sort of uh, uh, contrast there. So it, w it was a very challenging piece to play and you know, I, I hope it didn't sound like it was challenging, I guess is what I'm getting at. <laughs> One 
song to the next, it flows like a storybook. Oh, well, I mean, they are seven separate pieces, but in terms of the order we put them in, we looked for contrast, and some of them could end and then the next one could begin right away if just one person was beginning the next one. That made it easier. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I enjoyed it. It was beautiful. I'm waiting for the CD. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> I appreciate it.